Today we're going to be talking about free dictation software already available on your PC and Mac. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So we've recently been talking about dictation and focusing on some of the tips and tricks that come along with dictation on mobile devices. And in one of my last videos, I mentioned how when we get onto computers, we have a lot more options. So to begin with though, I thought I would talk about some free options for dictation. Now there are some great paid software that you can get for PCs and Macs. Uh, Dragon, naturally speaking, software is one of them. And they are fantastic. I've got Dragon on my computer here. I'll probably do a video soon diving deeper into that program. But you don't have to spend money for dictation. You already have it built into the computer. We'll talk about PC first because that's what we have right here in front of us. But I'll talk about the Mac here in a little bit. So on a PC, you have the option to enable an on-screen keyboard, a virtual keyboard that you can type out with your mouse. But one thing you'll notice here in the upper left corner, we have a microphone icon. Now, of course, you're gonna need a microphone plugged into your computer. I have one here on my headset. And so I can click on this microphone here and start dictating. And it works pretty well, but there's an even better way to do it. There is a keyboard shortcut that will bring up just dictation and it works really well. Okay, for this example, we'll just use this uh, notepad here to dictate something into. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it a little bit better. Now the keyboard shortcut to enable dictation where we will get a little audible tone and the computer will be listening to us and we can dictate our message out. The keyboard shortcut is the Windows key and the H. So if I press those, now we are dictating into our message, period. And then I can just press any key to stop dictation. So let's check. Now we are dictating into our message, period. It got it perfectly. This works in every single text field that I've tried. You'll notice here that when you dictate, it automatically puts in this uh, floating dictation box here. So let's dictate something else. And I'll show you one slight issue with this dictation on a PC. So I'm gonna hit my uh, Windows and the H key again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, comma. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream, period. So I purposely put some pauses in what I was saying there to show you guys to demonstrate this little bit of an issue. If you pause while you're speaking the message, for some reason it automatically puts a capital letter there. Even though it's not a break in the sentence, there's no punctuation in there, it puts in a capital. So, just something to be aware of. You're going to want to gather your thoughts and know what you want to say before you start dictation. So in order to set this up, of course, you're going to need to go into your settings and make sure your microphone is set up. Another little bonus tip having to do with the virtual keyboard here is that you see we actually have an emoji key down here. So if I click on that, we have all types of emojis available. So you'll be able to put all sorts of emojis in whatever text field you want. But I've got one even better for you. There's a keyboard shortcut for the emojis. If I don't want to have to bring up that keyboard, that virtual keyboard, every single time I want to put in an emoji, the keyboard shortcut is the Windows key and the colon and semicolon key. So I just hold down the Windows key and then click on the colon semicolon key and bam, there's our emoji keyboard. All the emojis are available right there, super quick and easy. All right, so that is how to do it on a PC. Now, as promised, Mac users, you can do basically the, exactly the same thing, 
you have to turn on the function in the settings somewhere, the, enable the dictation function. But once you do, the keyboard shortcut is to tap the function button twice. Tap, tap, and it starts recording. Now my buddy Derek, who is an Apple guy, he has a Mac, he said that you can actually remap that button. So if for some reason the function key isn't very convenient for you, you can remap it to a different key on the keyboard. So there you go, guys. Now, you can't do as much with this dictation, the Windows dictation, as you can with a program such as Dragon. Uh, and so we'll get more into that in a future video, all the cool things you can do with Dragon. But I think this is pretty good. Just if you want to really quickly dictate out a message, maybe you want to leave a comment on YouTube, uh, write out an email really quick and easily, this will work perfectly for that. Okay guys, well that is it for me. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. As always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.